Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III. Today, I'm going to be going through the rest of the water cave. Get the crystal, get some new job classes, and kick some butt along the way. So let's go. Let's see, we want to take the right path, because the upper path just leads to a dead end. A very long dead end. Does she have anything new to say yet? Yeah, I know. Okay, nothing important yet. This way, Lunas. Okay, now it should be pretty straightforward from here. No more forks in the road. Yay! Cockatrices? What the hell did they do to these guys? They're not cockatrices. They're not even birds. They're, they're more like basilisks, really. I mean, how did they mistranslate that one? What's going on, guys? Oh, man. Well, let's get these guys before they can get me stoned again. Ha ha! Oh, I can't get angry at cockatrices. I already got my revenge in Final Fantasy 2 when they couldn't even hit me because my evade was so high. So, that's okay, but how did they screw that translation up? That's my question. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> there it is. But first I have to kill these guys. Agaria, um, I don't think they're weak to uh, any particular element, and I've got plenty of arrow spell charges, so... No, don't run away. I hate it when I do that. Uh, oh, they are weak to thunder, aren't they? Okay, well, fortunately I couldn't run away. See, the problem with running away is that it makes you defenseless. Your de defense is dropped to zero for all party members, so... You really don't want to do that. The controls are a little uh, weird like that. Especially on your last party member, I, I really should be more careful. Okay, we got him. Okay, let me uh, do some healing here and I will be right back. Okay, we're all healed up, so let's go. Oh, there's a crystal. No boss in the way? Alright! We're good to go. Held up the crystal shard. And... Oh, no! Aaliyah! A cursed arrow? Man, I wish I could get one of those. Perish! And die! Okay, this guy can... Well, no, he shouldn't be too tough, but he can be sometimes. So, let's use our most powerful spells. Unfortunately, he is not weak to any particular element, so I'm just going to use Ice 3 just because it's the most powerful thing I got. So, Ow! Yeah, if he gets another one of those in on Raphia before he can you, you get a Cure 2 in on himself, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Good job. Good job. This guy has uh, almost 2,000 HP, but uh, we should be able to take him down. We better, or else I'm not going to get to the next point in the game. Whoa! What the hell? What the hell happened there? I think, like, the fire equipment made him weak to ice or something. Um... Um... <laughs> what do I do now? I don't... Oh, I have Phoenix Downs. Good. That's a first. And hopefully Ark will get it in first because he has more agility. There we go. Yay, it worked. Now don't kill him. Wow, my Cure 2 spell is pretty powerful. Alright, let's get this show back on the road here. I think that's the first time I've ever had someone die on me like that. Oops. Okay, uh, just a single Cure spell ought to do the job. You know, I like the boss music in this game, but doesn't it seem just a little bit out of place? You know, it's like it's a little too 
happy for me, you know? Uh, maybe it's just me. I guess they are kids, though. Oh no, Aaliyah died. Or, well, she's dying. And takes the jobs that carry the power of the water crystal. Yay! Even though you won't be able to use half of them. That's okay. Restore peace for my sake. No! And, the, and once again, whenever someone dies, they make you listen to their theme for about 30 seconds. Okay, let's move on. Oh, it started up right away. It's an earthquake! We gotta get out of here! What's going on? Whoa! The land is coming back. So that's how the movie Waterworld ends. Okay. And our ship is right next to it. How nice. Our ship did not end up on land. And we were safely brought up in an inn. How coincidental. Oh, we've been asleep for three days. Oh. Someone found us unconscious in the Temple of Water. Well, we were in the Water Cave, actually, but whatever. Okay, well, let's check out this town. Where the hell are we? Thanks a lot. Oh, this guy helped save our lives. That was very nice. You're welcome. Let's see if these guys have any more info on what's going on. Yeah, well, well you weren't exactly asleep, but... Goldar put a chain on our ship? Uh-oh. We better talk to him about that. And, yeah, I heard... Oh, he thought we were the Dark Warriors, so... Okay. Well, we better explain the situation to him. We're gonna need some gold key... Or, well, some magic keys in the Gold Ore's mansion. So... South, but there's a bottomless swamp! Oh, no. And if we wear the floating shoes, we can cross the bottomless swamp. There's an old lady, Delilah, in the sewers who has them. Okay. That's where we gotta go next, folks. And he's very strong against magic. Okay. Well, no stronger than any of the other bosses we've fought. Let's get out of here and see what everyone else has to say. And, oh, that's the guy who saved Aliyah. Okay, or Leah. Alright, well, let's go out and save the world. Goldor already has a crystal? Are you sure he's got one? Oh, yes, it's very nice, sir. I told him we already got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we take a look? No, we can't, because we got across the bottom of Swamp. And sewers are locked up because there's monsters, but some guy named Jiro already has one. Okay. Four warriors will crush the overflowing of light and dark. Who are these guys? What? Who are they? Like, the Four Stooges? Oh, they just think they're the legendary heroes. Well, no, that's not true. Okay, no one over here, so let's go up here. I'll talk about the job classes soon enough. Let's see, is it up here? No. Okay, well, we've got some things to purchase here, so I'm going to take care of that, and when I get back, I'll go over them and, um, per and go over the new job classes, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I've made all the purchases and did a little bit of job changing, specifically with Ark. Essentially, I upgraded him to the Karateka job class. Uh, it's the same as the Monk, only better. You can um, do more stuff. He has a build-up command. Um, I'll go over that later when I fight a boss or something. You don't want to use it during battle, though. Um, he's essentially the same thing as a monk, just an upgrade, like the knight was an upgrade to the fighter. Now, we can't use Dragoon, Mystic Knight, Conjurer, or the Bard Jab classes, because we don't have the equipment or uh, armor for those characters, so I'm not going to use them right now. Uh, Geomancer we could use, but we don't have really good equipment for him. So I'm not going to bother using it right now, and plus the terrains we're going to be on aren't appropriate for the Geomancer anyway, even if I wanted to use him. The Viking is like the Knight, except he focuses more on defense, and uh, he uses axes or morning stars as his weapons, but they're really inaccurate, and I really don't like the Viking job class for that reason. He has the highest vitality 
of all the classes, um, all tied with uh, Karateka and the Ninja Jab class later on. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't use the Viking Jab class. Although, interestingly enough, the Thief and the Viking Jab class can switch back and forth to each other real easily. So if you're using a Thief and you want to, say, gain more HP on a level up, you could quick switch over the Viking for 8 capacity and then switch back. So, I wouldn't do that, but you could. Oh yeah, and we also got some new equipment. I purchased the Chakra Hat and Black Belt Robe for the Karateka. And also I purchased a Kaiser Claw. I'm not going to use that right away because he's better with two bare fists, but we're going to find another claw for him soon enough. So, uh, you know what, I'm going to wrap things up here because um, there's a little bit of storyline coming up. So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy III. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.